Welcome to the video on parts and functions of a sheep brain. The cerebrum, often referred to as the big brain, helps to determine an individual's personality, intelligence, and thought patterns. The cerebellum, which is also known as the little brain, assists with muscle coordination and balance. The spinal cord is the connection between the brain and the body. Its main job is to send information to and from the brain. The longitudinal fissure is the portion of the brain that divides the left and right hemispheres. The right hemisphere is connected to creativity, while the left hemisphere is linked to the process of logical reasoning. The frontal lobe, which is located in the front portion of the cerebrum, is involved in problem solving, voluntary muscle movement, reasoning, and speech abilities. The parietal lobe, located in the mid-region of the cerebral cortex, is associated with pain receptors, depth perception, and cognition, which is the process of thinking and understanding. The occipital lobe, located in the back region of the cerebral cortex, aids with vision and color recognition. The temporal lobe, located on the side of the cerebrum, is associated with the functions of hearing, memory, and speech. Here is the brainstem, which is made up of the medulla, pons, and the midbrain. It helps to connect the cerebrum to the spinal cord and serves as a passageway for neural signals to be relayed. The optic chiasm can be identified by its X shape. It crosses the two optic nerves, making them in sync with one another, which is why both pupils become narrower when subjected to light. The olfactory bulb serves as the link between the nose and scent receptors, allowing us to have a sense of smell. Although not present, the optic nerve connects the eye to the brain, providing the ability to see. Gray matter is the area of the brain and spinal cord containing cell bodies, dendrites, and unmyelinated axons. Its main function is to send stimulants to the central nervous system in order to create responses. White matter is a bundle of myelinated axons within the brain and spinal cord. It acts as a signal transmitter. Without it, communication within the brain may be damaged. The corpus callosum is the bridge between the two hemispheres, allowing them to send information from one to another. The hypothalamus, located below the thalamus, manages hunger, thirst, body temperature, and other involuntary functions. The thalamus sends information to the cortex and responds to the cerebellum and medulla. It is partly responsible for the regulations of sleep and waking up. If damaged, it may lead to a coma. The third ventricle creates cerebrospinal fluid which helps to protect the brain from trauma and extends to create the central canal pathway of the spinal cord. The fourth ventricle holds the cerebrospinal fluid. Like the third ventricle, it protects the brain from injury and takes part in the creation of the central canal of the spinal cord. The spinal cord is the connection between the brain and the body. Its main job is to send information to and from the brain. The medulla oblongata controls involuntary actions such as the heart rate and breathing. It also relays nerve signals between the brain and spinal cord. Pons serve as the medulla's assistant, as it helps carry out the same processes as the medulla. It is also the bridge between the medulla and the thalamus. The midbrain is responsible for hearing, sight, and pain. It deals with visual, respiratory, and auditory reflexes. Here is the pyometer, which is the innermost layer of the meninges. It covers the surface of the brain and spinal cord. Although the first two layers are not present, they are respectively called the dura mater and the arachnoid mater. 